Your girlfriend told me that she thinks my takes are way more nuanced than yours. Yeah. Yeah, she thinks you can't get past surface level interpretations and she's leaving you for my analysis. Sorry. Not writing. Not not writing. But a secret third thing. Letting my story spin around my head like a microwave. What time is it, you ask? I pull out my 2.7 metric ton granite sundial and immediately crush both of your feet, and I loudly announce, It is cloudy! Me begging on my knees, sobbing, voice raw, whispering quietly, Please, dear God, let me enjoy something in moderation. My brain, obsessed, 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 obsessed. I'm gonna say Candyman five times while my homie says Beetlejuice three times, and we're gonna make him fight. Okay, maybe there is still some funny people on Twitter. And here comes Bloody Mary with the steel chair! So I would love to be a werewolf, but my main worry is if it would affect my digestive system. Like, I love eating stuff like grapes and chocolate, but I'm not sure if my wolf form could handle it without keeling over and dying. Guys, that's a new writing prompt. The new weaknesses for werewolves. Trans women names are like 22nd century cyberpunk hacker jewel thieves. And trans man names are like drowned Victorian children. Exactly as it should be. If I may add, envy names are often just like nouns. I had a classmate once named Brick, and that is the single most powerful name I've ever heard. One time I dreamt someone sold my OC as an NFT. You, against my will, and we fought over it in a Zoom meeting. I want to travel back in time and try to explain this sentence to myself in the 1990s. I don't think anyone even spoke English back then. Yeah, as a 90s kid, I can confirm we didn't speak English at all. Nope, no sorry, nope. I was chatting with a donor before I drew his blood, and he was a dentist. When I actually drew him, there was just a little squirt of blood, and it surprised him. I looked him in the eye and told him, you're bleeding because you don't floss. And he went dead silent. Oh, how the turns have tabled. Once I said busted nut in front of my 11-year-old sister, and I didn't want to get in trouble for it when my dad asked what that meant. So I said it meant being mad at something. And my dad has meetings regularly with four-star admirals. And I really didn't think he'd remember this, but he dropped his shit and he said he was going to bust a nut and explain to him what I told him it meant. And now apparently <laughs> they like the phrase. Ellie, you're going to cause a goddamn international crisis. You know, a lot of scantily clad women with numbers in their URLs are following me lately. They must be smitten with my devilish charm. Minimalism is cool, but have you ever had all the things you love in your room? Not since she left. Oh! Oh, dude! Someone give T-Boot some love! Jesus! Masked individual with they slash them pronouns. Call that an... A non-binary. <laughs> Working in an office is just like being in a horse movie, except the horse is a printer. I'm the only one in the office who can make it work, and it's because the printer and I have a special bond. It's a wild and untamable spirit, and we're going to win the big race. I can't believe horse girls are secretly working in offices now. Spotify wrapped, but it's your bank showing you your 100 worst purchases of the year. My Keanu Reeves Jesus bath mat is the top of the list. I humbly request a visual. Bake says worst purchase, but my heart says best. I love it and I want one. Friendly reminder to assume that all my OCs are bisexual unless explicitly stated otherwise. It's buy or die in this house.